The British Prime Minister Theresa May has indicated to Conservative backbenchers that she's even more scared of Arlene Foster than she was a few days ago. Earlier, the European Council President Donald Tusk urged MEPs to remain open to a long postponement and urged them to completely ignore Mrs May and not include her in any games of pass the parcel. Well, MPs at Westminster are this evening trying to break the deadlock as they consider a range of Anne Summer's lingerie for the annual House of Commons orgy. Prime Minister for the day, the man who masterminded MPs getting a chance to vote on what they want in Brexit, assured the House of Commons that he believes Theresa May will abide by MPs' wishes if they can find a consensus. But the fact is, I've never met an honourable member of this house or any other living human being who is more law-abiding than the Prime Minister. We simply must overlook her youthful transgressions in that wheat field if we're to avoid sliding into an abyss of anarchy. <laughs> the actual Prime Minister, at least for now, left Downing Street this morning having had some rare good news. One of the staunchest opponents of Theresa May's Brexit deal, inching towards an acceptance of it, but only on the condition that the DUP also supported it. I'm not going to mess with bleeding early in the end, that. Have you seen her? She bucks the head off you. I mean, she's probably going to have to clear it. We are our bandmates first, but what are they going to do? I couldn't give a rasher what those two gobshites think. They're more out of style than Rhonda fucking Paisley. In Strasbourg, the European Parliament was asked to remain open to the idea of a longer Brexit extension. We cannot wait for these thinking English pigs to leave. Their bizarre culture and dancing are an affront to the whole of the European Union. In fact, Angie sometimes calls Teresa the maypole. She is not someone you would dance with, nor dance around. And I don't want you to interrupt her while she's on her phone. But um, if she wouldn't mind... Well, she was on the phone. Yes, she was. And I apologise to the uh, honourable gentleman. Just a little bit of female multitasking, trying to uh, take place there. Sort out a ride for later. I was once known as the Channel Tunnel over in Strasbourg, you know. Haven't had a sniff of it in months. We understand that Mrs May will be returning to Brussels this evening in a last-ditch attempt to regain access for the UK to the Smithfield Horse Fair and the Moore Street Fruit Market. Breda Nivro Lavrikon, RTE News.